Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about QTech. Um, so all the rage these days, uh, Polytech came out with this uh, sort of a, a leap forward in terms of vibrometry a couple of years ago. So I thought we'll do this shorty on uh, QTech. Um, so let's go. QTech um, is MDV. We are done. Shortest video ever. No, we are not done yet. So let me explain what we mean when we say QTech is the same as MDV. MDV is a more generic term used uh, for uh, what's considered multipath Doppler vibrometer or vibrometry. QTech is the patented uh, technology. This technology is patented, and the QTech is the brand name that Polytech uses. So you can use both interchangeably, but we call it QTech. And that's how the industry has adapted it, uh, adopted it uh, um, in, um, in, in their research. Um, the main benefits, uh, before we go into what is it, uh, is in terms of a more, uh, you know, higher signal to noise ratio. It's in terms of reduced measurement time because you don't need that many averages or maybe you can get away with no averaging. Also, the signal return itself is more robust. It's more stable. So what this means is, you know, you you know, you won't see those fluctuations that you might see depending on the surface. So it's kind of becoming more and more insensitive to whatever surface is out there. So any cases where you have challenging dark surfaces or super shiny surfaces or steep angles or large lateral motion or long stand of distances, these would be ideal cases for trying out the QTech based vibrometer. Uh, and you can see here, you know, depending on, so for example, uh, this is how the traditional vibrometer works is, you know, there's a laser beam that hits the surface, there's backscattered light. And depending on um, the rays of, whether these light rays kind of uh, reach the detector in phase or out of phase, you get either a bright speckle or a dark speckle. So you, you can see the bright speckle with the constructive interference or dark speckle. Every time a dark speckle happens, what happens is you see a signal dropout, which is a, which result, what it shows up in the time domain as is a sudden spike in the data. And that can, uh, you know, it's not good. So let's, let me show you what it looks like. So here's the standard LDV or the laser Doppler vibrometer, um, you know, X, Y, Z, three components. You see these spikes, these are called signal dropouts. This is what is not good. Uh, and, but this is just part of, you know, people have learned to deal with it, you know, either, either with some digital filtering or higher number of averages or um, speckle tracking, all kinds of different things. What if you had no dropouts? So this is the same surface, same location, with MDV or QTech, the signal is just cleaner from the root. So it's you're not cleaning it after the fact, it just comes out clean. That's what QTech is all about. Let's show you in this uh, case here. Here, the QTech is not on. So you can see this is a very challenging surface. Beam is not focused. You can see all kinds of dropouts, the spikes in your uh, sort of uh, time domain data. Now let's turn on QTech changing nothing else. Uh, QTEC is on now and you can see how the data is much cleaner without even the laser beam being focused and measuring on one of the most challenging surfaces out there, which is skin. All right, let's keep going. So what is QTEC and how does it work? Um, so yeah, as, uh, we start with the same plot, you know, you get these backscattered light rays, you know, light getting back to the detector and you get a bright speckle or a dark speckle and then the dark speckle is what we want to try to avoid the traditional interferometer design has one detector so there is a good probability that you might see a dropout depending on your surface and the conditions and this is this is you know in this picture what you see is just a, a speckle pattern where you see the the dark and the bright uh, speckles so in a traditional vibrometer you got one and then so you have your time domain signal and the bottom what you see is uh, signal return so every time you know, the signal return kind of goes to zero, which is a dark speckle. You see a dropout in your time domain signal, which is not good. What if you had multiple detectors? And this forms the basis of QTEC. You have more than one detectors. So the probability that you're going to have at least one good reading, may hopefully more, 
just goes up multifold in orders of magnitude higher this is what we do in mdv so the vibrometer is the, the signal processing is real time looking at multiple detectors and then analyzing each data set and then combining it to give you the absolute best cleanest data set when we look at a parameter that we have defined called optical signal robustness the difference between the traditional LDVs and the QTEC is, is is orders of magnitude higher so if you want to look at that application note definitely reach out we'll be happy to send it to you I hope this helps we are here if you have any questions or if you just want to try it out uh, we have set all of these systems around uh, hope to hear from you thank you so much for your time until next time bye bye